Hello humans, Succulent Addict is back! Welcome back to my channel! Today I want to introduce you to one of my favorite succulent cacti, the Echinopsis subdinudata. A cool fact about this succulent is that it's also commonly known as Domino's cacti, Easter lily cactus, and o night blooming hedgehog. A second cool fact about this succulent is that it comes from the high altitudes of South Africa, but others claim that it comes from the outskirts of Bolivia, Paraguay. A third cool fact about this succulent is that it has symmetrical areolas that produce beautiful white and light pink blooms in the late spring to early summer. However, the bloom develops with the help of a certain hormone called florigen, which is the hypothesized hormone-like molecule responsible for controlling and or triggering flowers and plants. Florigen acts in the shoot apical marrow stem of buds and growing tips. The bloom comes when the plant is about two to three years old, and it can last up to three to four days depending on the plant's health and other environmental factors. Another cool fact about this succulent is that it requires water pretty frequently, but I water about one or two times a week, of course, when the temperatures are above 70 degrees Fahrenheit. However, in the winter, this succulent likes to enter a period of dormancy, so it doesn't require much water. This means that the Echinopsis dominos cacti enters this period with the help of brassnosteroids, a plant hormone that is produced in the season and helps the plant survive without using much energy. Obviously, like any other cacti or succulent, this plant requires a poor soil, good drainage, also bright and direct sunlight is needed to produce a high amount of flowers. If you want to raise this Domino's cacti inside, you can do so, but it's not very optimal due to the fact that it has a low chance of blooming for you. Not to mention the fact that cacti generally adore heat and are accustomed to that type of environment to produce those big ol' blooms. If you want to propagate this succulent, you kind of have to wait until the cacti gives you offsets or baby dominoes, just like this mother plant did. These little pups protrude out of the lower areolas, and you can just get them and place them in some soil. As you can see, there is one here that I will show you how to just go ahead and put its own container, and you're all done! Thanks so much for watching my video! If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe! I appreciate you watching, people! Happy propagating!